Yes, good day, X Yachts friends. We're here uh, just north of Copenhagen and uh, we've got Caroline, uh, actually a first timer on board of an X Yacht. She has a boat herself, but this is the first time that she's on board of an X Yacht. And we want to learn her a couple of tricks. And the same tricks you can adapt for yourself as well in the near future when you're sailing on your boat. So what we're going to do right now, we know hey, there's less breeze and uh, we've got a bigger sail actually on board, what we call the Code Zero. The Code Zero is like a big Genoa and it is filled up, so it's actually quite easy to handle. But we have to, again, certain procedures we have to keep in place. First of all, we have a two to one Heliot. And it's maybe very strange, but the two to one Heliot is there because it's coming quite a bit of power on the sail. So we actually reduce the chance of breaking the Heliot. Or we won't break it at all, actually. So we have to attach it and we we'll have to check the sheets. We have to run the sheet who goes to the code zero. And what we always have to do, we always have to have two sheets on. Never hoist without one, because I'll show you later on the trick why I'm putting a second sheet on. First of all, you have to change course, of course, yeah. but especially for the dropping. With the dropping, we can use that second sheet. Yeah. So, so just remember, so like here we have the two to one Heliot, that there is no twist in it. That's that's really important because if there's twist in, of course, that uh, that is something you get a lot of friction in when we hoist. Yeah. And then we have to attach the tack. Then we have as well the furling line, who's right now tied off over there. Because if we start hoisting and the furling line is not tied off, the sail might actually start unfurling itself. So it's really important to keep that furling line tight when we hoist. Now we're sailing quite a tight angle. I would advise in general that we always come a little bit more down because it's just easier to control the sail, of course. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta turn the boat a little bit more down and then we start hoisting. So you can see now, the sail is laying in the forepeak, so it's out of the way. But of course the risk is if we start healing too much that the sail can fall over the side. So that's another reason why you wanna sail actually downwind pretty much just don't get any mistakes. And then what I said, always hook two sheets up. Okay, ready for a hoist? I did it now bouncing at the mast. Of course, if you have an electrical winch in the cockpit, you can just push on the bottom and the sail comes up by itself. But of course, if you have an extra hand, like you, for example, could have just controlled the sail on the foredeck. So we never have to risk that it falls into the water. So the next thing what we will do, we will unfurl the code zero. And then what we shouldn't forget, after that, we have to fill the jib up because now the jib is taking the air from the Code Zero and then the Code Zero is not very efficient. Yeah, so now we're having actually, we're having a situation that we don't have enough winches, how crazy it's are. We have so many winches. And one of the things what you could do is actually just look around and see, hey, there's a winch free over there. So what we call cross sheeting, but we know the lead is not very good. And of course we don't want to damage the table. If you don't have the table, it's a really nice option just to use the free winch over there. So actually what we do right now, just to clear the winches, we're first going to fill the jib and then we're going to put the Code Zero sheet on the, on the jib winch. So that's what we do first. Yeah. Now we're going to fill the jib and you've got two buttons over here. There's yeah. second gear and first gear. The moment when we say, okay, furling the jib, you start pushing on number one and then yes, we will ease. So, okay, stand by yeah. and furling. <laughs> keep going, keep pushing. Keep looking forward. Yep. Three, two, one, and stop. Job done. Easy as. So one more thing to remember is actually the sheet who's loose, what we call the lazy sheet that you pull a couple of meters forward because the whole sail will come back. You will see that in a minute so that we don't have any knots because if there is a knot in this sheet, 
we are in big trouble. So yes, but well, you see, he did that already before, so now I start pulling the, the slack out. Ready for an unfurlier? Okay, and you start grinding. Yeah. Yeah, grind. Go. Go full turns. 